Pink Hey Dreamer, please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be checking out Lena's Hero Memory Board. This is the final tier. I'm using a range com, but later on I'll show you guys a DPS com as well. And I personally prefer the range com because of the fact that the succubi that you will be facing, they do quite fast charging AoE damage. So you do want to try to outrun them, but with ranged heroes, because they are attacking from a distance, you are kind of, you know, already away from the succubi. So you can actually outrun the charging pretty easily and uh, you will survive, higher tendency to survive basically. So before you go meet the succubi, you will be fighting a lot of these zombies, okay, and it's not going to be too difficult honestly overall okay so here she is unlike how the succubi in chapter 5 function she is alone at first okay but she will very easily very quickly cast uh, this aoe damage which you have to outrun as you can see i didn't manage to but you know just be prepared because for me, I did this on my first try, second try, and then I kind of positioned Karin away in such that I didn't have time to regroup my heroes fast enough. But you know, after watching this video, I'm sure you will expect her to use the AoE, so get ready to move out of, you know, the range before she even uses it. And as you saw, she was summoned to her two sisters. Okay, when that happens, you will want to target the healing sister first as well so that she wouldn't be able to heal the main succubi and when she uses her straight line charge move try to move your heroes to the end of it so that you can save time in terms of the damage which i will demonstrate later in the dps comp yeah so always dodge the aoes because they can hit pretty hard and as you can see there is always this slight distance uh, between your range units with the succubi yeah as in this case move it move them to the end so that you can immediately start damaging the succubi when she dashes over and there is really not too big of a issue here she will only cast the circular skills the straight line and summon her sisters and with Lena's movement speed increase it is very helpful because it can actually help you outrun the charge moves uh, pretty easily as well so that's a good thing about having her if I can't change the future then I shall create a new one on my own I will protect the fate of the world I love okay so that was the range team I will now demonstrate a DPS team I will now use DPS heroes, mainly Dylan's as well as Rachel. Okay, Rachel to substitute Chris and Dylan's to substitute Cosette. This is a non L plus composition, if you were to say. And oh, yeah, just to mention, Cosette was on the crit set, uh, Chris was on the attack set, and Karin is on the skill cooldown set. So I'm, I just transferred the same sets to uh, Rachel and Dylan's respectively. Rachel has the crit set, Dylan has the attack set. Make sure your masteries are also changed for melee heroes, DPS heroes, okay? So again, it's kind of the same thing, but with DPS heroes, you will want to take note that uh, because they tend to fight very close to the succubi, so when trying to dodge the AoE, you need to be more alert. Okay, that's the main thing for DPS heroes. So let us get through this part very quickly. Okay, yeah. So in this case, as you know, Dylan's will jump behind the succubi. Make sure you quickly outrun this. You you may not outrun it, okay, because all your heroes are a little far. But if you are, you know, you could actually try to already start running even before she casts the skill. Okay, that's one possible way if you want to avoid big damage. Kill the healing sister. Their AoEs are slightly slower, so you can definitely outrun them, but the main Succubi's one, uh, that one's a bigger problem. As you can see. Most 
most of the battle, you could just, you know, um, chill. Okay, and take note of her skill cooldown so that you know when exactly to run. And then you have a better idea of uh, which skill she's gonna use next, and you can better prepare yourself in that sense. And I'm kind of keeping the target screen up because, as you can see here, you know, uh, previously in the range comp, I didn't face an issue where he summoned the, her sisters again for the second time. But if you are killing her not fast enough, there will be a chance that she will summon her sisters again and then you have to repeat the whole process of killing the healing uh, sister first before going back to her. Yeah, so it's a little bit more time consuming depending on the build of your heroes. If your heroes are not that well geared then you will be taking some time here. But it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Okay, because you should be having two healers anyway, and your health should be pretty good. And remember to use your pet heal if needed, and you shouldn't have too big of an issue. Okay, so for Cosette, max out potentials. Chris has maxed out attack and uh, level 10 HP and defense. Karin has maxed out potentials. Dylan has maxed out attack and level 10 HP defense. And for my Rachel, maxed out attack. Level 11 defense and level 10 HP. Both divinity pages are filled, are done. For my masteries, ST melee consists of increasing single target skill damage and DPS attack. Okay. The rest don't really matter. Most of the most of them are flipped upwards. And for range, the only difference is increasing range attack. And basically that's all, and I hope this video helped, and if it did, do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Big shout out to my channel members Tom, Jeremy, Nick, Gonzalo, Fahas Chilling, Yamaki, Bilal, Sai, Kevin and Valence for their support. Stay tuned for more videos, thank you so much, and see you!